Well, hi. Um, I'm a digital entrepreneur. I uh, own a web design company and uh, another company that offers yoga classes online. So you're looking at me thinking, okay, but what's that, that thing hanging around your neck? Well, I have another passion, music, and in particular, the hurdy-gurdy. This instrument satisfies my need for, uh, I don't know, to disconnect and offers some uh, intense analog multitasking. <laughs> yes. Um, some of you are looking confused, and uh, that may be because, that may be because, <laughs> next slide. That may be because, excuse me. <laughs> Hold on. No, no, that would not be the right slide. Yes. Oh, show them all the slides. Go back. OK, we're, we're starting this again. Go back. They can, well, we can, oh, thank you. We can edit it. OK. Hi. You are looking confused. Why? Because hurdy-gurdy was also the name given to the organ grinder during the Industrial Revolution. Um, and the only similarity between the two instruments is, is that, in fact, both of them do use a crank, okay? But it doesn't take much skill to push a pre-punched card through a big red box. No offense to the lovely monkey there. The hurdy-gurdy is a polyphonic instrument, which means that it can play more than two notes at a time. It's the only instrument that uses a crank to turn a wheel which rubs against strings like the bow of a violin. The hurdy-gurdy has three different kinds of notes. The first note is a drone, which plays a continuous note like the bagpipe. The second note is the melody string. which is played by pushing up a key, which pushes a peg into the string to make the note. And then the third string is really something that you can only find on a hurdy-gurdy, of course, which you didn't know. It's called a trumpet string. Now, the trumpet string activates what's called the buzzing bridge. Now, the buzzing bridge is activated when I apply pressure on the crank and do this rhythm thing. The buzzing bridge appeared um, during the 15th century. So all of this is pretty innovative if you consider that the first hurdy-gurdy appeared about a thousand years ago. It was called the organastrum. Now, the organastrum at that time, back then it took two people to play it, one person to turn the crank, and another person to play the melody by pulling up large wooden pegs. So, you know, not very modern. Um, the hurdy-gurdy was also the first instrument to feature a keyboard. Um, and so, luckily, the hurdy-gurdy evolved about 300 years later so that one person could actually carry it and play it. And, uh, and then this dog thing uh, was added. Now, the buzzing bridge is also called a dog. Um, I don't know why. Maybe that's what dog sounded like during the Renaissance. I have no idea. Um, yeah. Um, the hurdy-gurdy's heyday was from the Renaissance to the 19th century when it was played by both kings and paupers. And uh, why? Because it was mostly used in dance music um, because of the unique combination of the dog. And at that time, there weren't you know, a lot of instruments that combined rhythm and melody. Um, in fact, Several composers, including Mozart and uh, Vivaldi, wrote for the hurdy gurdy. That was Vivaldi. With the arrival of everyone's favorite instrument, the accordion, uh, the hurdy-gurdy fell by the wayside until the French author George Sand's book, The Bagpipers, rehabilitated traditional folk, folk music and the hurdy-gurdy. Yeah. 
Yes, and with the, uh, with the rise and fall of Donovan also came the song Hurdy Gurdy Man. However, after the Summer of Love, Donovan kind of forgot to use a hurdy gurdy in his song. Yeah. Now. Yes, even Mila Jovovich decided to showcase her vocal talent in uh, in this same song, although she also once again forgot a hurdy gurdy, and uh, maybe she thought sashaying through the wilderness that it was an elf or a small woodland creature. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. No hurdy. Although the hurdy-gurdy is played throughout the world, uh, most players are concentrated in Western Europe. Uh, and hurdy-gurdies are made by specialized luthiers. My hurdy-gurdy was made for me in the south of France, uh, custom made, and it takes anywhere from two to five years for an instrument like this one. Um, Hurdy-gurdies are played in all kinds of music, from folk to pop to rock to jazz to death metal. And uh, just in case you're not totally convinced that the hurdy-gurdy is completely transmedia, think on this. Some historians consider that the hurdy-gurdy is a precursor to the modern synthesizer. So now I know that you're all dying to play the hurdy-gurdy. <laughs> so you can go on down to iTunes and download our free app, Hurdy Gurdy Remix and Play, and you can play it yourself. I'd like to finish with a song, um, a song that I wrote with my group called Badaya. Badaya means voyage in Basque, and the song is called Seposa, which means what joy, what joy it is to make music together. I'm going to call out Michelle, my significant other who plays with me. Honey, are you there? Honey? Honey, are you there? Hello, everybody. Ashki min satu, abes tu kutu kuservai. Let's play. Yeah. 